This is a short one, but you can probably experience it up here too. Late October, a few days before Halloween, driving on a rainy night. How do I get talked into this? Leaves falling out of the trees, getting stuck onto the windshield. It's a fun time. Roll the window down to smoke. Cigarette dangling out of the window while I cruise down to the next city along the coast to pick up a homeless guy and bring him to a hospital up my way that'll take him. Groovy tunes on the radio. I come around a tight bend and I hug the line a little closer than I should have. White Toyota's in my lane. Holy f <laughs> gonna die! Jerk the wheel narrowly, miss the car. Come to a stop to get my wits. Crazy Bruh. kids? This is what MTV gave us. Frazzled, lost cigarette. Light another one and park for a minute. Tabbing the side of the car and listening to music. Some guy grabs my arm and leans in. You okay, mate? Smirk his arm away and lean away from the window. Bruh. You. I shout like that's gonna scare off the woods demon that just tried to tear my arm off. Friendly middle-aged guy, greased hair, Bruh. stained mustache. Hey man, just checking on you. Glance in my mirror and spot the Toyota sitting behind me. Whoa, man, you scared the Bruh. out of me. Sorry, I said hello, but I guess the music was too loud. You're okay, right? Yeah, yeah, sorry for yelling. It's cool, there are a couple of deer up the road ahead. Watch yourself. I nod and he gets in his car and pulls away. Take a minute to cool off. Put it in gear and roll on. Round the bend he was talking about and come to a screeching stop. Turned sideways in the road. That's not a Bruh. deer. It's not even a couple of Bruh. deer. In the middle of the road stands a moose over the top of a dead moose's body. Moose is ripped to shreds. It got hit by a moose blender or something. Other moose is standing guard. I inch up on the guardian moose and it lowers its head ready to charge. I stop and beep the horn. It lifts its head and steps aside. I cruise by slowly. Moose turns its head as if it's scoping me out for the guy who did this, to its wife or buddy or whatever. I pull beyond the moose and stop, looking back through my mirror, and the other moose lays down next to the dead one. Okay, it's time to leave. I get the guy and come back the same way, cause there's no other road that is as direct. Past the moose carcass, but no guardian moose. Round the bend again, and discover it's been hit by a dump truck. It took its head clean off. Slow down as we pass the head. Those damn eyes were looking at me. Felt like it anyways. Drive off. Passenger was asleep anyway. Anon asks, Where are you? Like, state. I don't know where you Bruh. sleep. I could care less. Theory, spy plane that went kablooey when it hit the upper atmosphere. They tell us Loring Air Force Base is decommissioned and is just being used to repaint and service Humvees. That's bullshit. Bruh. You know it, I know it. Spy planes take off, supersonic, hits atmosphere, snaps in half, boom. What I'm told. Best part of taxing is government loves to truck people through. Black Shades guy and his blondie assistant get picked up in Portland. Transport them to the Air Force base in Bangor. Neither of them talks. I ask about it. They shake their heads. I shrug. Roll up. Guy at gate asks for papers. CIA types don't do papers. Gate guy gets miffed. Asks for ID. CIA hands him a letter. 
He radios the instructions into the base. Humvee rolls up to the gate. The gate opens and gate guy leads me in walking just ahead of my bumper. Humvee opens from the inside. Dark Shades and Blondie get out of my car and get into the Humvee. Get turned around by gate guy. I pull up to the gate and pull down my sunglasses staring at the guy. You know what? That guy's an asshole. They expect us to go to war with Russia any day now. He waves me on. Oh, thank God I'm diseased. I live on a lake. Bruh. Lake camp but it's a swanky bachelor pad and I'm cool with it. This was back at the end of last summer. Sitting on the front deck looking across the street into the lake water, rocking back and forth on the port swing. The loons are calling. Frogs everywhere are trying to get laid. It's an L.L. Bean commercial. I put my hands behind my head and drift off to sleep. I wake up to the sound of something clattering around my trash cans. Oh, come on! I sit up and I look toward the bottom of the driveway. There's this kid poking through my damn garbage. He's got regular kid clothes, too. Hey, you! Cut the sh His head snaps and drops the can's lid. Can't see his eyes. Just know he's looking. I stand up and point at him. Go home! Leave the trash alone! He stands there, staring. I get the same sinking feeling I did when I heard the coyote's bones being snapped. What the f*** now? Kid's arms twitch a bit, like he's got a chill or something running up his spine. Well, he leans down into the trash again. Hey! I step down off the deck and onto the gravel. My foot makes a crunching noise and something dashes into the bushes at the top of my driveway. Kid runs off down the street. I hear his footsteps for a while. I sit down on the steps for a minute contemplating getting a gun. There's a sploosh from the lake across from my place. Like a frog just jumped into the water or something. The loons stop calling for a minute. Well, time to go inside and lock all the doors and windows! Finally, get to bed after locking up the house, and listen to the loons start calling again. Sitting in town one night, full moon, window down, listening to music. Guy and gal walk by, wave and say hello. I wave back. Nice couple. I turn down the car radio and get out to walk around the car. Park down at the boat yard near one of the waterfront bars. Sit down on the hood and light up a cigarette. Girl walks up and asks for one. I offer her the lighter and a cigarette. She joins me on the hood after lighting up. Is this your job? No, I do this for the orphans. Very funny. Yeah, been doing this a lot longer than I can remember. Are you happy? Lady, I'm sitting on the hood of a Crown Victoria on a Saturday night. I'm not up for life lessons and philosophy. Fine, just wanted to know. Feel bad for being a jerk. It's not a great job, but I meet people. And I like people. It's a good quality to have. How about you? Smoking with taxi drivers your job? <laughs> no. I'm just a girl wandering through the world. Traveler, huh? Welcome to the road. Thanks. She gets up and walks off into the darkness of the boatyard. Okay, bye. She waves over her shoulder. I hear a hard thud come from the boatyard. Time to man up, David. Get in the car and cruise into the boatyard. High beams on. She's standing on the edge of the boat lift with a piece of broken rowing oar. I get out and walk up to her. Everything okay? She nods and tosses the oar into the water. Gypsies are always okay, Traveler. She looks over her shoulder to me. Her eyes are that weird reflective kind that animals are so you know that they're about to run out in front of you. Nope, 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 nope. I get back into the car and back out of the boatyard. Radio to Central to send the cops down. They find a broken oar in her jacket, but nothing else. Cop friend tells me they've chased some gypsies off the public beach the morning after. Gypsies come through town a lot, around up in Canada too much. <laughs> 